How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So we are on our way to our workshop because I wanted to show you guys the pickup truck. I never actually showed you guys what it looks like now that it's been professionally painted and I think it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And mechanically it is all in good order now. Got it all sorted. Uh, it had a fuel problem, so it wouldn't stay running very long, but that's all sorted. And the engine, the gearbox, and everything else seems to be pretty good. I mean, I'm very happy with it. Gave it all a nice once-over to make sure everything is in tip-top condition. But yeah, it's great. It starts on the button. It sounds amazing. And yeah, it just generally looks amazing. So yeah, I think I am going to keep it. That's my initial plan anyway. I was going to sell it, but yeah, it came out really nice. And I think I want to hold on to it. I might change my mind in the future. I don't know. But for now, I think I'm going to hang on to it. The thing is, I need to put it somewhere else. Um, I, I can't leave it here because it's kind of in the way when I want to work on vehicles and stuff in here. So I thought maybe we can put it in the shed at the overflow farm. But we've had stuff stolen out of there before. We had our John Deere tractor, the 710, stolen out of there, unfortunately. So I don't really want to put it there. I want to keep it on the main farm here. I thought we could probably put it here and just put a cover over it and it does have a, a nice roof but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the big shed at the house because the one door we don't actually ever use so I think I'm just going to park it in front of that to be honest. We do have some shed space around the farm as well that we can put it in. We've got some space over there that um, in that shed that we can put it keep it under a roof uh, close to the road here the main entrance we have got a bit of space here as well we used to have a trailer here that got sold before we bought the farm so I could always move the tipper trailer into there and then put it in there but yeah I think I'll like to just sort of keep it in the big shed I kind of feel like it might get in the way but like I say if we keep it in front of that door and we just don't use the door which we rarely do anyway. Uh, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be good to go. So yeah, that's my plan anyway. So the door in question that we basically never use is that one. But yeah, we, we just use the first door here for the most part. I could always just stick it behind the Unimog as well. Because like I say, it's probably not going to get much use. Um, it's not like we're going to use it on a daily basis on the farm. You know, it'll be a sort of a special occasions truck. Uh, the Unimog will probably use a bit more. So I could probably put it behind there. But I think I'm just going to put it in the corner here. And it'll be fine. At least then we know it's dry. It's in a safe spot as well. Nothing's going to happen to it. And yeah, for the most part, I think it'll be kind of out the way. Yeah, I think just here will be just fine. Okay. Lovely. That should do. Alright, that is your new home. Yeah, like I say, we never use that door over there anyway, so we might as well keep it here where we know it's going to be nice and dry and safe. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, anyway, farm work. We need to get the grass field rode up. Uh, so we're going to use the 6250. We don't really need the 6250 for the rowing. I think the 7810 will do just fine. I just realized that the 78 is quite dirty. I need to give that a nice clean up. I thought I did actually do that the last time I put it away. But anyway, obviously not. Uh, but yeah, the 7810 will probably do the rowing just fine. Uh, the thing is we are going to use the, the big forage wagon to collect all of the grass and take it to the overflow farm. And that's a very heavy trailer, um, especially when it is obviously fully loaded so I think we'll probably just use this instead for everything uh, rather than running uh, two different tractors and so this will this will be just fine it's a bit of overkill for the rower but yeah it's fine it's a big rower so it'll probably fit okay anyway it wouldn't look completely out of place yeah there's the wagon as well just have to check if everything on that is still good. We haven't used it for a while. Get all of that connected. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. So we're going to get a road up. And like I say, all of this is going to the overflow farm. 
we'll probably get it compacted we'll use the wheel loader i think for the compaction and we'll see how much we have whether we're gonna cover it immediately or whether we're gonna leave it open for a while and try and get another cut in there i don't know just yet because the next cut might be kept for our uh, bales i'm not sure we'll have to see we'll see where we sort of end up when we have everything in there see what it looks like but yeah what we're gonna do is we'll get this unfolded well i mean we don't have to actually do much to get it unfolded obviously it's hydraulic but yeah we'll get that unfolded like so and yeah we're gonna get work done here so i think we'll probably do a headland probably just once should be fine maybe twice we'll see and yeah we'll run around get this all rode up and we'll have to do the collecting as well i don't know if we'll do all of that in one go but we'll see what happens if anything comes up then we might go do that first just to take a little bit of a break but if not we might just carry on and get it done but for now we're gonna jump into that time lapse so sit back relax and enjoy We were bike dirt tires on paved concrete on the right roads just had the wrong wheels but i see you back in town same shortcut jeans my head still spins my heart still feels like riding a bike just you and i down along that road your brown hair blowing in the wind like it did that day and all those teenage summer nights when i love you you love me too it was so easy to get that feeling when our eyes meet i can hop back on our love life like riding a bike like riding Babe, our hands still fit You still get that smile And you want and curves Still drive me wild And bring me right back To wishing I didn't have to go And thinking maybe we should give it one more try Tonight just take it slow like riding a bike Right, that is rowing done and i was just busy getting the collector hooked up to the tractor and i got a phone call from the dairy because they are in desperate need of some milk so we're gonna take some over there and as always we're gonna use our trick of hooking up to the front of the tractor because with the dolly trailers it just makes it so much easier to back it into the um, unloading spot at the dairy it does mean that we basically have to drive backwards everywhere else but anyway it's worth it it's fine um also i do have the feeder cart outside at the moment usually i leave that inside the shed of course but i have that outside because i also need to get some straw in for the cows a little bit later on we need to get the shredder hooked up to the massey and yeah we'll get some straw in there for them probably two or three bales uh, we'll bring the bales over with our volvo wheel loader that wheel loader has been great and i did clear up some space uh, in a shed for it there so i moved all of our uh, hay bales over to the one shed and um, yeah that freed up the other one the one right on the end and that's where i'm keeping the wheel loader at the moment 
deliveries we have loads of deliveries that needs to happen today as well well i mean loads of pallets two deliveries uh, so that needs to happen and of course our silage back here we're working through that already as well but yeah it's it's nice to have the silage close by here i think it was a good idea to move it over here rather than sort of running up and down with the feeder every time that we need to fill it and usually we do more than one um trip as well so yeah it's it's not like we we hit up there once usually um i need to fill it twice so yeah that is our um sort of routine would be would be twice sometimes it just works out to to once just depending on what's happening on the day because uh, we will give them like grass bales and stuff as well but yeah generally speaking um it's it's twice that we need to fill that wagon uh, to feed all of the cows per day but yeah it's it's just too far to drive up to the overflow farm so yeah moving all of it here was a, a good idea and yeah we did have to we have to buy a machine to actually make that a little bit quicker and it actually made it a lot quicker but like i said i think it really was worth it because we ended up with a nice machine and it's actually got more than one use it's it's been very handy to have on the farm already okay let's get another load in here fantastic but yeah otherwise the cows are doing really well and um the pigs as well they're doing great we will have to take some pigs to market at some point soon as well definitely won't be today but at some point uh we'll we'll take some pigs to market i think we're probably gonna sell about 20 i think it is so um yeah i'll have to i'll have to check again i know we don't actually like interact too much with um the pigs on the on the vlogs but it's just because there's not that much happening it's basically feeding them and that's it everything else is just sort of yeah when when we need to take them to market which i think since i've worked here i think we've only done twice and um yeah like i say we do we do have it coming up again that we'll take some pigs to market but it's it's just not that much um going on regarding the pigs so there's like i say we don't we don't have too much to do with them on on the vlogs we don't see them too much or too often but anyway it is fine um well i hope it's fine so we have got those three pallets going to the south waffle hut and those three going to the north waffle hut so we'll have to do that in a little bit as well and uh, we'll grab the unimog with the trailer for that delivery but we are done here that's good we can get this put away and we can move on we'll probably actually get hmm should we just get the shredder on here now or should we do that delivery real quick hmm I'm not sure I, th I think we'll do the straw real quick yeah let's since we've got this going we, we've got the the massey going uh we'll we'll do the straw real quick as well then then we know it's done and we don't have to worry about it and we'll have to probably take the side by side over to get the volvo that's fine see that was the nice thing about using the kibota is um it's here so we could drive it over there and drive it back where now we're gonna have to drive over there get the wheel loader bring it here drive the wheel loader back and bring the side by side back but it's fine it's not a big deal right get that hooked up get that hooked up and i think we'll be good to go lovely okay we'll leave that there this is actually gonna be in the way no no it'll be fine Thought it's going to be in the way a little bit there, but we're all good. Okay, let's go grab that wheel loader and we'll start doing a little bit of trading.
Alright, that is another job done, and I have got the feeder wagon put away again, as well as the shredder. So we got three bales in there, but one job done and another one to do. So, we have to do this delivery, well it's two deliveries, uh, six pallets in total. So three going to the North Waffle Hut, uh, which is of course towards River Hill, and then the other three going... Was the South Waffle Hut, which is the one well close to Mike's house. Anyway, let's get this fired up. Probably should have turned off the Unimog. It is quite noisy. Um, let's actually do that. Also, burning diesel for no reason. There we go. So yeah, today is really just one of those days where it seems like everything needs to happen today. It feels like it kind of built up to this point and now we've just got a million things to do and not enough time to do any of it but yeah we'll be back back onto the field um hopefully in a little bit here i think we'll probably get this delivery done and i'll try if nothing else comes up and um get that forage wagon hooked up and we'll get the grass collected and into the bunker at the overflow farm that is my plan at least but like i say it's a day like today where anything could happen just feels like one of them days but anyway it's good it's good it's nice to be busy i would rather have a million things to do because uh, that means that you know things are going well and we're keeping busy and also we're making money where if you've got nothing to do that's generally a bad sign um either you are um yeah in a bit of a in a pickle where you literally have no work to do because everything's quiet um or maybe 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 it's just very efficient i don't know but <laughs> yeah i don't know i just like being busy so this is fine and i mean what doesn't get done today can always get done tomorrow but yeah i'd like to get as much done today as we possibly can right let's get that down there okay three more to load we're gonna get this load it up real quick and we'll get it delivered we'll probably head north first and then we'll come back uh, to the south waffle hut maybe maybe they've got um something new there to look at mike of course does um second hand equipment as well and every once in a while he gets some cool stuff in i think last time i was there he didn't really have anything that i was interested in but yeah every once in a while we get something in that's kind of cool or even just to look at not necessarily to buy but we'll see maybe he's got some new stuff in since i've been there last i have no idea i haven't been up there in a little bit but yeah we shall see anyway i'm gonna get these last two loaded up and get everything strapped down we'll head out there and we'll get these deliveries done delivery is done and we do have some new goodies over here so we've got a nice tanker trailer for well liquids probably milk water chemicals whatever you want really i suppose and depending on what is rated for of course but yeah nice trailer and then we have the tipper trailer i think this was here the last time i was here it looks familiar uh we still have the six by six over here but then over here we have a beautiful 390t massey ferguson look at that i love these tractors absolutely fantastic i mean this one has definitely seen better days i'll tell you that much for free but it is still a beautiful tractor unfortunately not something i think that'll be very useful on our farm yeah unless we replaced our massey ferguson but ours is in much much better condition than this so i don't think that's gonna happen yeah still a nice tractor though even though it's a bit rough i do like them but yeah not 
something that we're going to be buying today. This, however, I've kind of been thinking about this. Now, not for us. I was more thinking maybe get this for Nick on River Hill. Because he's got the quad bike over there and that works fine. Uh, I was also using it up, up there and it's great because it can get around all of the terrain quite easily. But something like this will do the same thing. The thing is you have the convenience of being able to load stuff as well which you can't do with the quad bike also it's got a little roof which is nice to keep keep sort of the the sun and the rain and everything off of you as well and uh, no windscreen though but that's okay um but yeah also when i go up to river hill it'll be nice to have a little vehicle that nick and i can both just sort of go around the property um if we need to where with the quad bike we can do it but it's a bit yeah it, it just doesn't work that well now a lot of you have also pointed out and rightfully so that with a lot of these sort of no-name pieces of equipment, they just use a, a bunch of generic parts and sort of slap them all together to make this. So, if something does go wrong, um, the parts might actually be quite easy to find. So, that is a good point. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about buying this. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Nick a call real quick and see if he actually wants it. Because it's not really going to be for me, it's going to be for him. See if he wants it, and if so, I'll give uh, Mike a call and see if we can make a deal on it. Uh, I don't have the right trailer here, so if we do end up buying it, uh, we can't take it home right now. We'll have to come and fetch it later on, but that's okay. Um, Yeah, should have actually brought the other trailer, but I didn't actually think that we will pull the trigger on this. I actually thought this would be long gone, to be honest, but yeah. Right, I'm going to give Nick a call real quick, and if, if he's interested, uh, then... I'll give Mike a call, and we might end up buying this. Alright, so I gave Nick a call, and he did say that something like that would be very handy on River Hill, but if it was too expensive, don't bother. Uh, so I gave Mike a call, and he said that he just kind of wants rid of it at this point. He's been struggling to get rid of it, so he said $2,000 will buy it. Uh, so yeah, we, we bought it. Now, obviously, we went there with the wrong trailer, so we couldn't actually load it up. So we'll have to go back and collect it a little bit later on. Hopefully later on today. But uh, not really priority right now. I want to get back out onto this field and get all of the grass collected and into the bunker at the overflow farm. So that is going to take priority. But when we're done here, we'll get the Unimog back out. We'll get the trailer hooked up and we'll go pick that up and take it up to River Hill for Nick there so yeah I think that's just gonna make his life a little bit easier and like I said it'd actually be a bit more convenient when I'm up there as well for the two of us to sort of get around the property a little bit easier so yeah I think that is a good purchase at that price I mean come on who's gonna say no to that I don't know what he actually wanted for it originally because it sounded like he literally just wants it uh, gone so I think he gave me a very, very good price. I think he gave me a better price than what he was hoping to get for it. But yeah. Anyway, I'm very happy with that. Uh, hopefully the thing works. Uh, well, I know it works now. But hopefully it continues to actually work. And it doesn't like break in the first week. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But we are going to get this thing fired up. And... We're going to get this grass collected and into the bunker. And then we'll get the wheel loader and get it compacted as well. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, I saw you Setting the mood like a light in the smoky room Dancing to the blues like a disco groove Catching every eye when I saw you Looking at me with a smile Like you wanted me Saying, boy, come on Well, I'll break, be gone I just had to try You just move
That is job done. All of the grass collected, and we have that into the bunker at the overflow farm. So, judging by the number of trailers, I reckon we have got about 150,000 liters of grass into that bunker, and that will all be turned into silage. So, I already did the compacting of the grass there, and I've got it covered as well. I decided not to film the compacting just because it's very boring it's just a lot of driving back and forwards so um yeah not the most exciting thing to watch but it is done and like i say it's covered i decided that we're not going to wait for another cut because we do have that bunker um, pretty well full i mean we could definitely fit another cut um into that bunker but i don't think it's going to be necessary uh, so the next cut, we will do collection um, of the hay. And then we'll put that straight into the shed. And whatever remains, we'll have baled. And, um, well, not have baled. We'll bale it. And then we'll put it at the overflow farm. So that is the plan. Bod. Yep, that sounds like quality there. Um, if we need to take this up to River Hill... And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was cheap. It was cheap. It doesn't sound great. Ooh. Um, but it was cheap. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get that ramp up. And we'll get this up to, um, to Nick in River Hill. Okay. Clean to turn around. It is indeed. Ooh, the turning circle of this combination is not great. We're not actually going to make that. Alrighty. Off-roading it is then. Go around that rock. There we go. Alright. Making this happen. Fantastic. Beautiful. Right. That is that. So yeah, we're going to um, take this up to River Hill and We'll get it unloaded there. We'll see what's happening. We'll see if Nick needs any help up there. I hope he is actually there. He's a bit camera shy. Um, so, yeah, he seems to be very good at judging when I'm sort of going to be up there. And he makes sure that he disappears for that time frame. But anyway, it's fine. I get it. But, um, yeah, hopefully he's up there. But if not, it's okay. But, um... Yeah, we'll see. If we can lend a hand over there, that'll be good. This wheat field is probably going to be ready to harvest fairly soon as well. So we need to keep that in mind. And um, the next thing that needs to happen on the grass field, though, is we need to get some slurry onto that grass field. Uh, since we've had it mowed now, uh, it'll be good to get some nutrients back into the ground there. So we'll do that as well. Uh, we do have quite a lot of slurry, in fact might actually need to try and get rid of it somehow because we've just got too much at the moment we're producing a lot more than what we can actually use on the property so i don't know if we can maybe sell it i don't know if there's really anyone that would be buying in this area there's not a lot of our sort of arable style farming going on in this region of course it's more um, a logging town very much a logging town but, uh, yeah, maybe I can get rid of it um, in neighboring towns or something like that. I don't know. I would be happy enough to just give it away, to be honest. I'm not too bothered about selling selling it. If anyone needs it, uh, they're more than welcome to use as much as they like. Like I say, we're producing a lot more than what we could ever use uh, for our operation. But, yeah, we are going to... Well, I mean, we're almost at River Hill already. 
well, we're gonna head up there we'll get this disconnected and yeah see if we can help out with anything there if Nick's not there I'll just give him a call and make sure that um, everything's okay and he doesn't need anything and um, yeah if not we'll head back to the farm and maybe we'll even have time to uh, get the slurry out on that field all right so I'm just gonna leave it there for him because I don't know where he actually wants to go with it um, he's not here at the moment uh, camera shine Nick has disappeared again but that's absolutely fine uh, so the unimog I just left down there again because if I get it up here with that trailer it is very very difficult to turn around up here because um, yeah turning circle of a medium-sized planet that has but yeah the trees over here I mentioned this in the previous vlog look at that absolutely shot up to the heavens fantastic the place is looking amazing nice and dense yeah, looking really cool. And they'll continue to grow. And we'll end up with a Mahusa forest over here. Yeah. Anyway, um, I did ask Nick if there's anything that I can help with while I'm here. And he did say that we have quite a bit of product sitting over here. So if I wanted to, um, I can do the delivery. But I'll have to load it up first, of course. Yeah, okay. We do have a lot of products sitting over here. So all of this is going to the roller coaster site. So yeah, I guess we need to get the truck fired up. We'll get it backed into here and we'll get it loaded up and delivered. And then after that, we'll head back to the farm and we'll see if we can still get that slurry onto the field today. We are back at the farm, We've got our delivery done, and we're back in the Massey. We're gonna get the slurry tanker hooked up, and we'll get some fertilizer, some slurry, out onto that grass field. But how good is that truck? I genuinely think that that is my favorite vehicle that we own right now. Absolutely love it. I'm not sure what it is about it. It's just got so much character. It's absolutely fantastic. I really do like that truck. But yeah, anyway, unfortunately I don't get to drive it um, as much as I would like to. But yeah, I think Nick kind of knows as well that I really like it. So that's why he kind of leaves the deliveries for me for the most part. Um, well, when I say the most part, he still does get more deliveries done than what I do. But yeah, he, he does leave a few for me. Uh, which is nice. But yeah, even sometimes he loads the truck and he'll just leave it there and be like, oh yeah, I don't have time for this delivery. So if you want to, um, you can take it down there. So yeah, he knows, he knows. But yeah, no, I do have a good time uh, driving that truck around. But anyway, we need to do a very smelly job, but a very necessary one. To make sure that we get a nice yield off of this field again. Um, next time round. So we'll start getting this out. And that looks like everything's working just fine. Fantastic. Yeah, okay. We're really getting a lot done today, which is absolutely amazing. Because, yeah, I woke up this morning with the to do list about as long as my arm. And I thought, probably not even going to get through a quarter of it. But to be honest, 
actually got through just about all of it. Really didn't think we'll be doing slurry spreading today, but yeah, that is basically the last thing on my to-do list for today. So yeah, this is great. Anyway, we're going to get the drone out and we're going to get this field knocked out real quick. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Wake up in the morning in this great blue state. Golden fingers caress my face. Slips through the window on a silky breeze. A dreamer's life to plant some seeds. Alright, well that is job done. Unfortunately, by the time I got the field done, the tractor and the tanker cleaned up and put away, it has gone dark. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night, but we are going to pick this up again in the morning. So I just need to get all of this closed up. I don't know if you guys can see anything that I'm doing, because I can barely see anything that I'm doing. Right, get that closed up. Lock that. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, yeah, so um, we're going to call it a night. It's a beautiful night. But we'll pick this up again in the morning, so I'll see you then. Hello? Wait, what? Okay, I'm on my way. No, come on! This is no accident. I know for a fact this is no accident. I've, I've had enough. I am absolutely done with this guy. Enough is enough. It's time to put him in his place. It's time to start fighting fire with fire. 